Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 19th, 2023. Well, this morning, we've got some interesting things going on here in the market. We've got Asian markets that closed lower across the board last night with um, Japan um, came in, coming in with a surprise trade surplus. Um, and Bank of Korea held rates uh, flat. We've got um, European markets down across the board this morning, but rather modestly worried about Middle East um, and, of course, you know, things that are going on in uh, the economic figures. And then we have bond yields. Boy, doggone it, those bond yields continuing to surge higher. This morning we have the five year, or excuse me, the two year bond at 5.24% and the 30 year bond at 5.04%. These are post pandemic highs. That's pushing interest rates on mortgages above 8% causing some issues there in the market. And then of course our oil, we've got a change here in oil today after pushing sharply higher yesterday. They eased some sanctions on uh, Venezuela and that is moving oil just a little bit lower here this morning. We've got uh, oil down about 1.36% uh, overall. Brent is down 162. 1.62 percent so a little bit of easing in those energy prices this morning so what does that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the thursday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. How about we try and shake off the, our bias for the market? Let's take a close look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, taking a look right here, as you can see, we had a pretty rough day yesterday in selling. The Dow broke this support level in the chart pushed right on down if you remember i suggested the next level down would be somewhere right in here we didn't make it there yesterday um, we are gapping down or in the pre-market we were gapping down into that we're already trying to buy that back up here this morning so a little bit of price support right in there if the bulls can find inspiration here today they'll now i think we're going to have to retest this resistance in the chart to see whether or not we can push on through if we can then we're pushing right up into the major resistance and downtrend in the chart if the bears were to come through with inspiration today well i think it's fairly easy to see that we could test this little area of support right here and if that were to fail the likelihood is coming back down into here to see whether that will hold as support. And then of course, there's really not much left except this price support uh, that would create a double bottom or a W formation in the chart. Very common for a, for a W formation to occur, but it's also very common where we can catch that lower, I mean that higher low somewhere and uh, put in a W formation that way in the chart. You know, if we take a look at our moving averages, well, yesterday was a little bit of a bummer for a lot of folks out there in the market that bought in yesterday thinking, hey, it's just all clear. We're going to run to the upside here. And a little painful reminder that those bonds are important. And you can see that we had um, that pretty ugly selling break below the 200 day moving average and came in here very, very close to testing the 500 day moving average. You will want to keep in mind if we do get that rally back to the upside, we're going to be running into that major price resistance area of the chart and that declining 50 day moving average. So just be a little bit careful here if we push hard to the upside and test those levels let's take a look at our spy spy also 
Pretty rough day yesterday, but it wasn't tragic. Um, we did break, I made the mention that um, if the bears got any energy in there, watch that level of price support. And we did break that level of price support right there. It's not a strong one, which is, you know, no big surprise. But um, if the bulls can find inspiration here today, you can see they're trying to pre-market pump this a little bit and come back up um, after some overnight selling. You'll want to watch this carefully in here to see whether or not we can come back up and test this little resistance area in the chart, break back through there. And if we can, we're pushing up into here. And we do have to keep in mind that as we do this, we've still got these this major downtrend um, that we'll have to deal with in the chart if we can push on through. If we take a look at the bearish side of things, well, you can see after breaking this level of support, the only level below that is right in here. We came really close to testing that in the overnight session. Um, so watch that closely. Um, oftentimes we can um, get the, the pre-market pump that comes into the market and then we end up testing the overnight lows in those futures uh, sometime during the morning session. So watch that close. And then remember, if we break this level here, well, uh, then we're probably back down here testing these lows in um, early October. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our moving averages in here. You can see we've been struggling with that 50 day moving average and, and it, it was meaningful that we had those six days where we just were battling up here, couldn't make it through. And then yesterday uh, that emboldened the bears to push on down. So we're stuck here between ranges between that 50 and that 200 day. So keep in mind, if we do continue to push down, uh, there may be that chance that we can retest that 200 in the chart. It's also possible that we could create that little W formation by making a higher low in here someplace and picking on up to run up to test that 50-day uh, moving average and downtrend. Let's take a peek in our SPY. The old S, uh, excuse me, the QQQ. Um, our QQQ, well, we, uh, we're not looking really good here. But we had some good data yesterday on the tech side of things with Netflix um, reporting better than expected results, um, a, a regrowth in subscri subscriber count, and that's pushing Netflix sharply up here this morning um, in, in this move. So watch that carefully as we approach this resistance level in the chart. And then Tesla, although there was a period of time it looked like um, Elon Musk had talked the, um, the investors off the ledge, well, they kind of came back here today and looking uh, like a pretty substantial break of some price support here this morning on Tesla with worries on the economy. So that being said, we have kind of a mix of data going on here for the NASDAQ. It is trying to push up in the pre-market, as you can see, trying to hold this support level in the chart. So if the bulls can find inspiration here today, well, let's look for a really if they can get going, a push right back up in here to test this price resistance would be the next likely area to see whether or not we can pop through that area. If we can, then we will want to keep in mind we're just bouncing right back up here into this major resistance and downtrend in the chart. We're going to need something special to push us through there, I think. And if the bears were to find inspiration here today, well, resting right here on this little price support yesterday, you can see pretty easily that that possibility that we can move right down. Now there is a little bit of an intermediate level in here, right through there, we might catch right in there and bounce. But if that were to, uh, to fail, I would suggest we're probably coming down here to test these recent lows in the market. Um, once again, we do have that potential in this pattern moving back where we could make that higher low in here, maybe put in that W formation. So it's not all bearish, but there is certainly quite a bit of worry here in the market.
Let's take a look at our moving averages. You can see this constituted a failure of the 50 day moving average again. And that obviously raises a little concern for the market. It's possible that the data today could pop us right back above that but we'll want to watch that closely if we really start if we were to follow through with this candle today i think that would really bring some fear into the market so watch that let's take a look at our iwm iwm remains the weakest of the indexes by far we continue to um, falter here in the chart we had a pretty ugly day yesterday um, remember iwm had the best day on um Tuesday and then we gave it all up on Thursday on Wednesday today the question will be will we hold this support here in the chart so if the bears were to find uh, continued inspiration here today look for a test of this support and if that were to break you'll notice then we have a possible move down that could take us all the way down to last year's lows here in um, T21, or excuse me, in the IWM. So watch that close. If the bulls can find inspiration and find that um, levity to bounce off of this area here today, then let's look for a retest of this resistance, maybe some of these candle highs here in the chart. And if we can pop through that, well, just kind of keep in mind, we have that big level of resistance and downtrend overhead in that chart. Our moving average here are all, uh, there's just nothing bullish about our moving average patterns here in the chart. We are 50 crossing down through the 200. Um, everything is below the, uh, the 500 day moving average. Not looking good here overall in those moving averages. So IWM needs a lot of work and we just really can't rule out the possibility that we could lose that support here in the Russell. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX did hold on to this trend yesterday, uh, pushing um, back up, as you can see, above um, this um, 18 level in the chart up into the 19 handles for the close. The question for today is going to be whether the VIX follows through to the upside if the bears continue to push through um, with these rising bonds. Um, that could be very, very important here today. If the bonds continue to show pressure throughout the day, we could see um, that fear uh, cropping up in here. I don't think this gets horrible unless we break above here and hold. If we were to break above here and hold and start moving higher from there, that's where some real panic, I think, could come into the market. So watch that carefully. Um, if the bulls can find inspiration today, and there's certainly possibility that they could, then we could uh, push us right back down and be retesting this trend. If that trend breaks, well, then I would say we're getting ready for a pretty good relief rally to the upside. So keep an eye on the VIX. Let's take a look at our... T2122. You know, I get a lot of questions about T2122, but it really is one of the easier indicators out there for to use. It's just a four week new high, new low ratio here in the market. And um, when we take a look at this, T2122 doesn't tell us which direction the market is going to go. It tells us where those pressure points are in the market. What was interesting is um, at one point in time yesterday, our T2122, we were all the way up here in the bearish reversal zone, and then we softened at the end of the day, pulling back. Um, all in one fell swoop yesterday, we went from way up here to way down here, and we're testing the bearish reverse, I mean, the bullish reversal zone in the chart. So if we can find good data today, to um, inspire the bulls. We certainly have opened up a big opportunity for an upside move. If the bears, if the bears find inspiration here today and continue lower, notice we don't have a lot of downside opportunity here, but we do have some pretty big technical levels that could uh, make for some point, big point moves to the downside if we were to push right back down here into that bearish reversal zone. So just keep a close eye. Let's take a look at our uh, T2108. Now our T2108, 
pulled back yesterday pretty substantially, but it wasn't a game changer. You can see we held on to this little upside trend here in the chart. Obviously, this isn't what we wanted to see. Only 26.5% of the stocks above their 40-day moving average, but you'll notice the bearish part of this is that we failed this resistance. So if the bulls can find some inspiration here today, then let's look to see if we can push this back up and retest that area of the chart. Remember, we did slip out from underneath this downtrend, so that is to the bullish side. Um, and as we start pushing up, we'll see how we can deal with these price resistance levels in the chart. A failure here to push on lower would be problematic, I think, for the market and once again, maybe raise some fear. We do have a little bit of price support in there that could hold us if that were the case and the bears start pushing here again today. Our uh, T2107, well, T2107 did not fare as well. As you can see, pushing back down, we didn't quite make the lows, but you'll notice that we broke these lows over here yesterday, pushing back down 33.5% of the stocks. Um, holding above their 200 day moving average. That's a pretty rough situation. We continue in this downtrend here on the T2107. And if we were to break these lows, well, unfortunately, we break those lows and we have um, that potential that we could go sharply lower here in T2107. So um, I don't know that that's going to occur, but I would watch carefully for that possibility. And um, we'll, we will have to realize if we do start rallying in here that we're going to be pressing into um, resistance levels in the chart. So we'll, we'll want to be cognizant of that as we move forward. Let's take a look at our uh, T2101. T2101. This is not what we really wanted to see when we were buying up the market. The breadth was declining as we were surging um, on Thursday. And as the sellers came in, you'll notice we turned and the market breadth actually started to come up on the sell wave. So the question for today is, will the bears have enough energy today to continue this sell wave move to the upside. If not, um, and the bulls can find that inspiration, we want to see those bulls pushing in. We want to see that breadth continue to expand on the buy wave here in the market. And so far, we've been struggling with that quite a bit. So watch T2101. This breadth has been really important, and, and that's just a result of um, 98 percent of the companies being in their blackout period where they can't do um, anything now that's going to start we're going to start slipping out of that here by the end of the week where a few companies come out from under their blackout period but just kind of keep in mind um, that the majority of companies are still in it and we could struggle with a little bit of that buyback volume that we've been enjoying here in the market. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we've got a few things to be um, focused in here on this morning. First off, we're going to have jobless claims and they're expecting jobless claims to increase just ever so slightly. Remember, this has been really problematic for us. The Fed wants to see that jobs number tamped down and they're going to continue to stay restrictive as long as those job numbers continue to stay strong. So watch that one closely. A good number here becomes bad news for the market. Bad number here would be come good news for the market. Um, then we're going to have the Philly Fed manufacturing. Philly Fed manufacturing is expected to come in at a negative number, but you'll notice it is an improvement over the prior. It was a negative 13.5. The consensus is looking for a negative seven. Keep an eye on that. That will be important. We've got um, Jefferson speaking after that, and then we're going to come into at 10 a.m. We're going to come into our existing home sales. They are expecting our existing home sales to decline ever so slightly here. So watch that carefully. That could be market moving uh, today if that number were to miss. We've got leading indicators after that, a natural gas report, and then everyone's going to be focused pretty heavily here on what Jerome Powell has to say 
out here at noon Eastern. So keep a close eye on that this afternoon. Um, we could literally see after the morning volatility, the market go very, very stale as we wait for Powell's comments. We do have some bond auctions in there to be paying attention to and several more Fed speakers along with the Fed balance sheet here uh, later on and Fed speakers after the bell as well. As we look into Friday, good news is not much going on here except a couple of Fed speakers and um, the Baker Hughes rig count, which unlikely to move the market. So uh, we might get a little bit of break here on Friday. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. And remember, uh, guys, uh, the, the earnings numbers are ramping up. I cannot cover them all in the morning prep video. So what I would like you to do is make sure that you know to click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog so that you can catch that full list of notables here this morning. Um, let's take a look at just a few. We're going to hear from some airlines um, like um, Alaska Airlines. We're going to hear from um, America Airlines here this morning. So watch that. We're going to hear from um, um, Freeport McMoran here today. Keep an eye on that. We've got um, ISRG Intuitive Surgical that will be reporting. We're going to hear from Philip Morris. We're going to hear from uh, Union Pacific Railroad and um, stocks like WBS and WNS. So watch those closely here today. Um, and remember, if you want that full list of notables, make sure you click that link below the title of the video. How about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you guys could do me this quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor and click that thumbs up button. Leave that brief comment that helps the channel to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that and even just leave that emoji count so thank you so much I do truly appreciate it um, you know I am always humbled by the kind words and comments of folks um, in uh, supporting the video so thank you supporting the channel I should say thank you so much let's take a look at uh, some of these stocks setting up and remember everyone these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're going to need to do your own due diligence be very very careful here on the market there is so much whipsawing and volatility in this has been a very challenging period of the market and it could continue uh, for a period of time so just be careful don't over trade make sure that any trade that you look at hits your risk tolerance if you're following your trading rules never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas well first off let's take a look in that oil sector oil has been very very volatile moving around quite a bit and you can see this morning we're pulling back but honestly we need that pullback notice here in XLE um, we broke that downtrend so that rest or pullback in here could set up that next opportunity to the upside in um, energy. It, so I would watch that carefully as we rest or pull back in these stocks. Take a look at um, some of the, um, uh, can't even say it now, some of the refiners. There we go. I said it. Some of the refiners here this morning. Watch that um watch this one we've tried to break through this resistance here in halliburton and this morning we're pulling back so if this catches a little bit of price support in here someplace and holds we may still have that opportunity and you'll notice what i just drew there was an inverted head and shoulders pattern so keep an eye on halliburton you might want to keep an eye on slumberjay slumberjay broke through some resistance yesterday it is pulling back to test that this morning if this were to hold that support in here notice there's a break of the downtrend and once again when i did that i just drew out um, an inverted head and shoulders pattern on slumberjay so keep a close eye on those you might want to take a look at some of the tech sector boy it had a rough day yesterday 
but it may perk up here today because of the Netflix reports. Um, Google continues to remain very, very strong and one of the strongest right now. As you can see, even with um, the selling yesterday, all it did is come back and test support in the chart. Now you will want to keep in mind, this is going to report on the 24th. So it may be a little bit difficult to, to be much of a buyer here unless you uh, take advantage of that anticipation of earnings and see if that will rally toward that earnings event. So watch Google in here. Unfortunately, um, we saw some pretty rough action here in Apple pushing back in that chart. We saw that data where um, news data from an analyst that um, MacBook sales have declined significantly. And we have heard you know, that they're struggling with their iPhone 15 sales. So just keep an eye on this. Um, I, I think um, failing this price support at the downtrend is fairly critical. And if we were to rally back and show failure again, look for that next opportunity to the downside. I wouldn't want to chase it short here, but a rally back up. Take a look at AMD. AMD, doggone it, um, thought this was going to really take off and get going. We broke this resistance in the chart, but unfortunately we have pulled back, failing that area. We're back down here chest testing the upside of this channel. You'll notice in here we broke that upside trend. So AMD is struggling in here. Um, I would watch this carefully. Any rally back now that puts in a um, any kind of a lower high, you can see what I just drew there. I just drew a little tiny head and shoulders pattern. So keep an eye on that AMD, not functioning like you would like it to be functioning um, at the moment. Um, watch that close. You know, um, when you take a look at charts right now, there is not much, not many charts that have a better bullish setup right now than the US dollar. You can see we had a little volatility in here, but we pushed right back up, reclaimed that support in the chart and held it. And now we're starting to show that bullishness to the upside with those bond yields continuing to push higher. Keep an eye on the US dollar. It's looking good. And what's interesting, while the US dollar is going up, there is a flight to safety going on in precious metals. It is a little bit odd to me, but there is something afoot here. There is some major concern out there because the only way you can move gold this big is there has to be some really big concern out there. So watch that carefully. We broke that downtrend hit now in GLD. Any rest or pullback would set up an opportunity in that chart. And this would be a colossal potential head and shoulders pattern if that were to occur. Watch that carefully in gold. Silver struggled just a little bit more um, than in gold um, as the afternoon went on, but you'll notice we have pushed up here strongly. We've reclaimed some support in the chart. We've broken back through that downtrend. So any consolidation, rest or pullback once again, and you'll just notice that right there, there's that big head and shoulders pattern that could be setting up here on silver. So watch that carefully um, if we continue to see this flight to safety um, in the markets. Um, so with that, guys, I'm going to cut this off today, running a little bit short on time. I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. Be kind of careful here this morning. I would look for considerable volatility, a lot of choppiness to continue here with the anticipation of um, big tech earnings season, you know, starting next week. So just be um, careful, cautious, focused in on price action. Try not to trade your bias. Try not to over trade a market that's whippy and, and choppy like this. Save that capital. With that, have an awesome day. Wish you great profits in your trading. And I'll see you right back here, bright and early, Friday morning. Take care, everyone.